Hello guys, the Acrimtution here, and this is basically a follow-up uh, on my videos regarding the method of moments estimator. And what we've been doing with the method of moments estimator is estimating certain parameters based on moments. And each time we have set the Kate population moment equal to the Kate sample moment. So once again, he's th these are the definitions of the population of the Kate population moment and the Kate sample moment. And um, what I've been telling you guys is that the amount of moments we need to calculate will be equal to the amount of parameters we are going to estimate. And I've shown you guys a few examples in which we need to estimate only one parameter. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys an example in which we need to calculate two parameters and we're going to take a sample from a normal distribution. So as you can see, we need to calculate two parameters. So we will need to calculate the first and second population moment and the first and second sample moment. So let's get right into it and calculate the first and second population moment. So the first population moment will be equal to the expected value of x raised to the power 1, which would just be x. And of course, when x follow a follows a normal distribution, the expected value of x will be equal to mu. Now, for the second moment, we will need to calculate the expected value of x raised to the second power, which is just going to be equal to the variance of x plus the expected value of x squared, which is going to be equal to sigma squared plus mu squared. Now we have calculated the first and second population moment, and we're going to go ahead and calculate the first and second sample moment. So the first sample moment is given by 1 divided by n times the summation from i equals 1 till n from xi raised to the power 1, which will just be this, and of course this is equal to the sample mean, which is denoted by x bar. Now we're going to write out the second sample moment, which is going to be equal to 1 divided by n times the summation from i equals 1 till n from xi raised to the second power. So like we've been doing in every video, we set the kate population moment equal to the kate sample moment. So let's go ahead and set the first population moment equal to the first sample moment right away. So the first population moment equals mu and the first sample moment equals x bar. So a method of moments estimator for mu would be equal to x bar. Now we're going to go ahead and set the second population moment equal to the second sample moment. And this will give us sigma squared plus mu squared equal to 1 divided by n times the summation from i equals 1 till n of xi squared. Now we have already give, uh, given an expression of mu hat of mu hat so let's go ahead and substitute this right now and this will give us the following expression plus x bar squared and equals 1 divided by n because like we've been doing guys every time we have been s been isolating the parameter we want to estimate and this is what we're going to go ahead and do right now as well for sigma hat squared, which is going to be equal to 1 divided by n from the summation from i equals 1 till n of xi squared minus x bar squared. So basically we already have now an meth the method of moment estimator for mu, and we already have the method of moment estimator for sigma squared for the variance but uh, what I'm going to show you guys is that we can actually simplify this equation a lot further. And this is probably what you guys will see in your textbooks, because this is also equal to this expression right here. 
And what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to give a proof of why these two expressions are equal to each other. So let's just first go ahead and start with this expression right here. And as you will see, it will equal this expression. So let's go ahead and start with this one. And if we just write out the brackets right now, we're going to get xi squared minus, of course, the cross product, which I will write in this way. And of course, here the minus sign, uh, minus minus, of course, will be plus. So we get x bar squared. And now we will get rid of the brackets entirely. So we will separate these terms and we will get this right here minus 1 divided by n times 2 times x bar times the summation from i equals 1 till n of xi plus 1 divided by n times the summation from i equals 1 till n from x bar squared and this is equal to 1 divided by n. We will do nothing with this term just yet. And now, of course, the second term will be most interesting to us because, as you can see, we, we can write this 2x right here. We're just going to write them in front. And then you see that we have 1 divided by n times the summation from i is n, from i is 1 till n of xi which is basically equal to the sample mean which is we, we have de which we have defined as x bar so this right here 1 divided by n times this will be equal to x bar and then with the third term we will do nothing as well And this will be equal to 1 divided by n. We will do nothing with this term, which 2x squared plus, and as you guys can see here, this is just 1 divided by n times n x squared. Since uh, x bar has nothing to do with this summation, we just uh, add x bar n times so this is why we have the n right here and if we simplify this further we get 1 divided by n with this expression minus and this these two will of course just cancel out straight away so this will give us minus 2 x bar squared plus x bar squared which of course will be x bar squared and this is exactly what we had right here so as you can see this expression equals this expression right here and there you have it guys this is how we use the method of moment estimator to calculate to estimate two parameters and from a sample that follows a normal distribution